The following is a special presentation of ABC Sports. International gymnastics is a sport for the aggressiveness and daring of youth. It's a world of 14-year-old phenoms and 17-year-old veterans. It's a world filled with great champions. Many who finished long before their time. But today, the greatest gymnasts of the 80s, winners of over 125 medals in world and Olympic competition, have come together to open the door to the unknown world of professional competition, and they're all here. The cornerstone of the Soviet Union's unparalleled men's program, Olympic champion Vladimir Archibald. And the two women who turned Romania into the best team in the world, Aurelia Dobre and Daniela Silivosh. And the woman who beat them both at the 88 Olympics, Elena Shushanova of the Soviet Union. Those foreign stars will be joined by their American counterparts, like Tim Daggett, a member of the 1984 Olympic gold medal team. And 1989 World Championship silver medalist Brandy Johnson, all grown up now at the age of 18. Together, they'll try to recapture the glory of their youth at the first World Professional Gymnastics Championships live from Fairfax, Virginia. We're at Pimlico Racecourse, home of the... ...has introduced many different concepts in the world of sport. Well, today marks the first time that the sport of gymnastics has held a professional competition. Today's competition features an impressive array of world and Olympic champions. For more, let's join Roger Twibell. Roger? Cheering loudly for our Thank you very much, Frank. We're at the George Mason University Patriot Center in Fairfax, Virginia, about a half hour outside of our nation's capital. And today is the beginning of what gymnasts hope will be a very successful experiment, and that experiment is professional gymnastics. These athletes start their careers at a very young age, but unfortunately also end their careers at a young age because outside of exhibitions, they have nowhere to go with the sport. But $50,000 in prize money being offered here today, and that's got these gymnasts awfully excited. Working alongside me is Kathy Johnson. Kathy, what do you think of this idea of pro gymnastics? Well, Roger, it should be the start of something new and exciting. We have some of the greatest names in gymnastics history here, including world and Olympic champions going as far back as 1983, which should also make it pretty interesting because many of these gymnasts, except for Brandy Johnson, who just retired six months ago, have not been in competition in several years. And also working with us is Bart Connor. And Bart, for the fans watching today, what's going to be the difference between pro gymnastics and the amateur kind they're used to? Well, there's usually, actually, there's going to be a couple of very important differences. One thing is that the rules are very different here, and the scoring system is absolutely completely different. We're on a 100-point system as opposed to a 10-point system. The judges have basically challenged the gymnasts to design the routines based on entertainment purposes rather than on the strict guidelines of international amateur gymnastics. In addition, there's no all-around performers here, typically in the world and Olympic competition. The athletes have to compete in the all-around. Here they're specializing in just their best event. Okay, Bart, thank you. We're getting set to go. Tim Daggett, a veteran of U.S. Olympic teams, 28 years of age, from West Springfield, Massachusetts, is set to go. Tim told me he's working on a new routine here. It's the most difficult routine he's attempted in his career. And once again, we said that the gymnasts are using music and choreography and costuming more so than we've seen in, of course, amateur competition. Tim is slashing through this pommel horse routine with the Thomas flares. No scissors, as used to be a requirement, certainly in amateur gymnastics, but a big finish for Tim Dagger. So Tim Daggett, who uh, has taken the uh, road of many gymnasts, a coach and a commentator, and now getting ready on the vault is Elena Shushanova of the Soviet Union. And she capped a brilliant career with a gold medal in the all-around at the 88 Olympic Games, locked in the greatest head-to-head -head battle in Olympic history with Romania's Daniela Silivash. Shushanova dealt a decisive blow in the final rotation when she scored a perfect 10 in the vault. And I guess, Kathy, difference in amateur and professional, the costumes, too. <laughs> Absolutely. We're going to see a lot of wild costumes today in this competition. Yelena was two-time world champion on this event in 1985 and 1987. And, of course, she's the current Olympic all-around champion in the most dramatic all-around competition in Olympic history. By the way, Tim Daggett scored an 88 on the pommel horse. 
performing a handspring front. Whoa, she was tucked on the horse. I could see she was not going to make that one at all. But she's got a second ball in women's gymnastics. Oh, <laughs> she's not happy with that. So, Kathy, you'd have to say the layoff since 88 when she last competed has affected her. Oh, it certainly has. Most of these gymnasts, since they didn't really have any place to go, and this came up sort of last minute. They were not prepared. So this is how the scoring is going to work in Bart. It's uh, considerably different from uh, the amateur scoring. Well, let's first of all look at difficulty. The judges are looking for strength, power, and skill selection in combination and execution, form, body line, rhythm, and their landings, of course. And general impression includes creativity, uniqueness, style, and variety. Now, if the gymnasts get 33 in each of the categories, they get the automatic one-point bonus, and that would be 100 points. Kathy Shushanova scored 86 on her first ball. And you know she's going to try and improve on that on her second ball. She needs a better approach, better pre-flight. Much better. Oh, no, over-rotated. Oh, how frustrating. Too little on the first one, too much on the second one. Well, Elena's engaged to be married. Uh, her husband-to-be is not a gymnast. He was a national champion. And she has been going to school the past couple of years and plans to go into coaching, although she has competed in some exhibitions. So a score of 92 on her second vault, though, for Shushanova, and we'll return in a moment. ABC's Wide World of Sports is brought to you by Delta Faucet Company. Delta, the way water is brought to life. By Sears Auto Center. you got to ask yourself, who's going to back you better in Sears? By Nonstick Free Dent Gum. Nonstick Free Dent moistens your mouth and freshens your breath. And by Kellogg's. The best to you each morning. And we welcome you back to the George Mason University Patriot Center in Fairfax, Virginia, for this first World Professional Gymnastics Championship. And that's Natalia Yurchenko of the Soviet Union. She's 26 years of age and just completed her first vault. They, uh, they have... Kathy, let's take a look at this first one. She had a lot of trouble on this vault. And if you can remember, she originated this vault. It's called the Yurchenko. She had a lot of trouble on the pre-flight, couldn't get a lot of push. Now keep in mind, Natalia has been out of competition since 1983. And she was the all-around world champion in 1983 and a favorite for the 1984 Olympic Games for the boycott. Her first score was 80. Looking for a better approach on this vault. Much nicer. A tough your chingo. How appropriate to see her do this vault again since she was the first one to ever perform this in competition. Kathy, what are the athletes' nerves like in this professional competition compared with amateur? Have you talked to them about it? I, there are a lot less nerves, yeah. actually. You know, they've, they've done the, the competition that they strive to do, and now this is like icing on the cake. It's an, Score, an opportunity for them to get back out on the floor and perform. Yurchenko, 87 on her second vault. So Natalia Yurchenko of the Soviet Union. And this was uh, a moment ago, and this was the young man, Valentin Mogilny, on the pommel horse. Mogilny certainly made a name for himself in the world of gymnastics for his expertise on the pommel horse. This is a terrific angle to notice the complex movements as he travels up and down the pommel horse. Notice he doesn't even use the pommels as he goes all the way from end to end. That's one of his trademarks. Look at the gorgeous form and leg extension and the Thomas flares on the end as he traveled back across the horse without even using the pommels. And Bart, you saw that score, 93. That's the top score after the uh, first uh, round in the pommel horse for McGilney, who now resides in France. And we'll return with more of this World Professional Gymnastics Championships in a moment. Still tacky. Whoa! What a game. Good game, Mr. Euchre. He's a lot tougher than he looks. For a fast, smooth, professional finish, get Krylon. Who became famous right here in Fairfax, And we welcome you back, and this is Brandy Johnson, our next competitor in the vault. And, uh, Kathy, you talked about her at the top, but she just got out of competition. She has to have a distinct advantage here. She just retired six months ago after a wonderful finish, fifth place in the all-around at the World Cup. She was also the fourth American woman to win a medal at a world championship. She won a silver medal and on this event. And she's balding to music. <laughs> and free front top. Perfect landing. 
A little chubby checker in the background, but a, a little different look at it. I talked to her before the competition, it. and she loves working out to music, so this is ideal for Brandy. And it really gets the crowd involved in it, too. She is really a dynamic ball tree. You can see the speed into the horse, the lift up into the afterflight. Nice tuck position, and of course, look at the landing. And a score of 96 for Brandy Johnson. And that'll put her in the lead in the vault as she gets set set for her second vault. The identical vault. Perfect landing again. Now, Kathy, they don't have to do the same vault, do they? I mean, they can, they can mix it up. They're allowed to do two different vaults. They may do the same vault, but only the best four counts. Second all round, 1985, USSR. So Brandy, who is now attending community college in Florida and just became engaged, will return with more of ABC's Wide World of Sports after this message and a word from our ABC stations. We now continue with ABC's Wide World of Sports. Roger Twibell and Bart Connor, Kathy Johnson along with you here at this uh, World Professional Gymnastics Championships. Yelena Shevchenko of the Soviet Union, her second vault. She's performing a Yurchenko vault in laid out position. Oh, it was a full twist. Even better than it was And that first vault, she scored an 89. This is scored much higher. It's a much more difficult vault. Done very, very well. She was a member of the Soviet Union's gold medal winning team at the 88 Olympics. Now we're going to move to the pommel horse, Lubomir Geraskov of Bulgaria. Geraskov was the Olympic champion back in 88. He tied with Orkai and Bilozerchev for the gold medal, scoring a 10 in the finals. And let's notice his style. Not only does he do a lot of difficulty, but he does a lot of handstands which is the direction Palma Horse has been going. Bart Shevchenko scored a 96 to tie Brandy Johnson in the vault. Okay, now the rest of this exercise is very original. Look at that handstand pirouette down to the end. Back down in the flares, up to the middle. Back down again, and another pirouette off. What an original dismount. Geraskov will be staying in the United States after this competition, coaching in Kalamazoo, Michigan. We'll return with the results of that pommel horse competition in just a moment. Coming up, the American Championship Racing Series. Back, as you take a look uh, at some of the action here, we'll tell you that in the vault, Brandy Johnson and Yelena Shevchenko tied for first place with a score of 96, and in the pommel horse, uh, the men's competition, Valentin Mogilny was a winner, scoring 93. The winners received $2,200 in prize money. And right now, let's go back to our Wide World of Sports studios in New York and Frank Gifford. Frank Equipment Company. Thank you, Roger. As well as having more gymnastics coming up a little later on, we'll be going back out to Indianapolis for another report on professional gymnastics championships. Here once again, Roger Twibel. Roger. <laughs> Thank you, Frank, and welcome here to the George Mason University Patriot Center in Fairfax, Virginia. 19,000 students here at this university, and this building holds 10,000. It was built in 85, and we're here for the World Professional Gymnastics Championships, and getting set to go on the beam is Brandy Johnson. And we have a great balancing competition going on so far. In the lead is Kelly Garrison with a 90.